Hi, everybody. I'm meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Let's take you through tonight's run of the GFS because, as is with these models, when we're this far away from anything, there's always going to be some changes. And uh, I think we're going to see more changes as we go through the next few days. But first off, let's take you through to for Saturday, which looks fine, and Sunday looks okay, too. Uh, you can pick out the cold front right through here as low pressure goes across northern Maine. And you can see right there where the bending and the isobars are. That's where the cold front is. And it comes through here uh, sometime. It's hard to find, but it's just about there around midnight, Sunday night, and Monday morning. It's mo moved through. And what we'll probably see, maybe some clouds with it. I'm still thinking that there could be a few snow showers or even a burst of snow in uh, one or two localities that could whiten the ground. And the reason why I'm going with that idea is that it's a pretty strong upper air disturbance that moves through. Plus, uh, we saw today how there were snow showers in the Hudson Valley and in parts of northern New Jersey and even a snowflake or two on Long Island where the models are having a real difficult time picking that out. Now, the core of the cold air is already here Monday night at midnight. So uh, Tuesday morning, it's already starting to pull out. But we'll have cold temperatures here Tuesday morning down in the teens everywhere and probably not much out of the 20s during the day on Tuesday. And uh, after a cold start, we'll start to moderate some on Wednesday as high pressure moves overhead. And then uh, out it goes, a little milder as we go into Thursday and Friday. Now, here's the situation with whatever's going to happen. It's still, to me, evolving. We have uh, low pressure in South Carolina. We have another low back through Kansas. And we have higher pressures building up across uh, northeast of the Great Lakes and in through eastern Canada. Now, the models were playing uh, more on the idea of, of this high being uh, a dominant, low pressure just offshore on the earlier runs, and some cold air gets dammed in. But this run is a, a little warmer, and mainly because of the fact that it suddenly deepens this low well to the west. So you have uh, almost uh, these two separate features, and that kind of keeps the high from building down. I don't know if this is correct or not. The European did not show this uh, during the day on uh, Friday. So we'll see if this is some new trend or just a model hiccup. And then out it goes. And then you can see now this uh, next storm, which completely disappeared on the uh, run prior to this, is now back again as a deep low uh, running uh, to our west and in through upstate New York, and it's also a bit of a change. So I'm a little, I'm a lot suspicious about what the models are doing here, uh, now telegraphing uh, two weather systems. And by the way, I just want to point out, uh, if I don't make a, if, if I think something's going to be a major event, at the point that I believe that that is true, I'm going to say it. So I, I hope no one is assuming uh, otherwise. Uh, if I don't say it, uh, then it's not on the table. If it, I do say it, it is on the table. I'm very clear in, in a lot of my posts. I think those of you who have been with me uh, for through all of last winter know this. Uh, you'll see other things on other pages. I can't really control that. And you have to read the posts in order to, un, to get an idea of what I'm thinking, as well as when you go through the videos, you get a clear understanding. Now, behind this, the model makes it cold again. Uh, has several other systems which may or may not be real. I'm not really sure. One thing I will say, uh, in terms of how this is all going to eventually play out, uh, it's all really going to depend on how much blocking there is in the atmosphere. And uh, the models are kind of going in both directions with that. The GFS up until this run had more blocking. I'll have to see what the indexes show later on and when they come out the late tonight or early, during the morning hours. Uh, but it really is going to depend on that. If there's too much blocking, then everything will wind up being further south. If there isn't enough blocking, then you're going to wind up with something that's a little further north. Now, when we look at the upper air pattern through the entire period, uh, nothing much has really changed. I'm just going to roll it back, and you can see the deep trough in the east, which is the cold air that comes in early next week and then pulls out, and then you have the next weather system here that comes in, the series of systems that come in in the subtropical jet. You've got reorganizing with high pressures building up near the poles. 
and weak vortexes that are further south. Uh, so this is going to be um, seeing a lot of variables here that change from run to run. Then we have the vortex strengthening again as we get later in the period. And uh, that it's actually gone back to this look like it had yesterday, which I thought was kind of bizarre. And you can see how that uh, upper trough then sends down another system uh, into uh, the Great Lakes. So it's a, just a very complex pattern. And I, I think to make uh, equivocal state, unequivocal statements um, at this stage of the game is just really foolish um, with regards to the long term. There's just too much variability and too much change from run to run uh, in, in, to really get a good feel of all of this. So uh, the general uh, look, though, you still have that ridge in the west, which is very important. You have troughing in the east, which is also very important. You have some semblance of uh, blocking, uh, developing the poles, uh, the, the, the vortexes in the poles, not there. Uh, you still have higher pressures building up there. So I would just say that uh, from run to run, we'll just keep watching the changes and see how this all evolves. I think there's still a lot of things that are at, at play in terms of how this is going to play out in the long range. So enjoy your very long weekend. And uh, we will, uh, of course, uh, give you a Joe Stradamus post later in the day on Saturday when we see all the daytime information and uh, let you know what the latest uh, is going to be.